Hi guys, welcome back to the series on Google ML Kit in iOS. So today we are going to see image classification. So just to give you an example, how it looks like. So we have this uh, ML series demonstrator, which is already on GitHub. So if we choose something like a rose, it will actually tell us that it's a flower, petal of plant. So it's just classifying the photos uh, on how, what kind of objects there might be. So like suppose if I take this, it will show road, crowd, and building. So this is just telling, uh, it's just trying to identify what it can see in these images. So this is image classification for photos as well as video streams. So the code is already there as part of the uh, GitHub repo. So it's under image classification folder. Now, if you want to see, uh, the first thing that we have to do is to add the pod file. So we have image labeling so it's called as image labeling so you will have google ml kit image labeling this is the version that i have used and if you want to use a custom uh, model like something we have retrained image labeling to identify what kind of flower it is then you need this image labeling custom so we have also done that in this so if you go to image custom labeling what this will do is it will run the image classification and if it's a flower it will try to identify which kind of flower it is we have given uh, we have feeded uh, some five different types of flowers so now if i go and select rose it will actually tell us rose now let me try so if the flower is not able to detect it will tell no labels detected but it's not going to detect any other kind of label so uh how so i have already a video explaining how the image uh, Classification, the custom image labeling classification is trained. If you want to see, it will be linked in this video, either in the description and also in the top. And uh, so let's get back to what do we need. So after we add the pods, we have this uh, classification worker. This is the this is where majority of the work happens. So we have this image labeler. We give uh, confidence threshold of 70%. So we take image labeler options and we keep the threshold as 0.7, which means that only if the model is confident more than 70 percent then only we will show those labels once we pass those options we will get an image labeler object and once we have the ui image so this is the image that we have selected either from the photo picker or the camera preview so it will come here the photo picker will come to process image and the camera will come to process frame so all this code is already set up to make your life easy so from the UI image, we'll actually convert it to a vision image. So this vision image actually comes from Google ML Kit. It's a, uh, you can say, a relic from when the library was called Google Vision instead of Google ML Kit. So once we get the vision image, we also pass the orientation so that it's easier for the model. And once we have the orientation, uh, and the vision image we pass it to labor to process it now uh, once the processing is complete it can either give us labels or it will give us error if there are no errors and the labels are not empty we will actually play those labels so this is all we have to do you can either display the labels or maybe use it for some other purpose for the uh, custom model that is under flower identification so we have a custom model that we have built by training the image classification over those flowers so the model is already attached for model underscore flowers, the TensorFlow like model. And instead of having having image labeler options, we have image custom image labeler options. The confidence threshold is same as 70%. And rest of the things are absolutely same. So it's so instead of uh, like passing image options, image labeler options, we are passing custom image labeler options, which has the threshold and also the local model path. So, uh, if you want to use your own model, you can easily use this code for that. And the rest of the process actually remains the same. We get the frame either from the image picker or from the video preview and we pass it to the laborer and we get the output. So, very simple. So, in the next video, we will see how we can actually detect objects in the images and then run classification on top of it. See you then.